Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Just Jen. If you're new here, hello. If you are not, well, you're awesome. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Your notification bell is tapped so you get notifications when I drop new content and when I go live. All right. So I did a short video and I asked you guys if you wanted a long form one and you said yes. So it took me quite a few hours of scouring the internet to find the full video. Now we're talking today about a mother in the Glendale, California school district going to a school board meeting and outing a teacher. This teacher uh, is teaching some not kid friendly curriculum. And so I was like, you know, I want to do a little bit of research into this teacher. And what I had found was a lot worse than just the video. So I think what we should do first is show the video, the news articles that I found were even worse. Like the, the uh, newspaper articles or website articles, they're even worse. So let's first watch this school board meeting and see how furious this mother is. But I, I feel like this. That's just the tip of the iceberg, you know, because you only get a couple of minutes, I guess, when you are invited to speak at a school board meeting. So this mother, uh, she had every right, I think, to go off. Uh, I haven't read the full articles yet, so we're going to be doing that together. Oh, but we should uh, do the full video first. It's only a couple of minutes long. I feel like we do this and then. <laughs> See how worse it can be? Because how can it get worse? Well, it does, because we're not talking about teenagers here, high school students. We're talking about eight-year-olds. Yeah, third grade. So, oh, it doesn't go on in my school. It doesn't go on in my school until it does. Then you're like, oh, this is why teachers and, and you know, you teach the children the three R's, the subjects necessary to become successful adults later in life sexuality what oh my god it's just the diversity what is that gonna do for them not a damn thing but confuse them anyhow let's watch this video and we'll get into the news clippings <laughs> ay, ay, ay. all right again the dc shorts thank you guys so much for for giving us this video, for supplying us with this video, I will link the original into the description of my video once this is done uploading. All right, let's do this. I'm sorry, are we doing Bible studies in classrooms? No, we're not, right? So why is this a certain agenda being pushed into the classrooms? I'm here to bring awareness to the emails that had surfaced earlier this month. The one I find most disturbing of all is of a third grade teacher trying to talk about yeah, sex with eight-year-old students. These are eight-year-old children that she's trying to hold a sexual orientation class with. A parent shared their concern and their um, objection to it and pulled their kid out. And instead of this teacher being concerned of what she did wrong, she goes to a district employee and asks for ways of how she can continue to teach sexual orientation to her third grade class. You guys want us to believe that this isn't a propaganda, that no agenda is being held. This wasn't just any sexuality class. This was specifically designed three days a week. She taught LGBTQ curriculum in her class. It raises the question, how many of those students are excelling in that classroom? Is everybody in that class getting A's in math, English, grammar, social studies? That we can dedicate three days a week to teach eight-year-olds about sexual orientation? I don't care what kind of sex is being discussed. The word sexuality, nudity, does not belong in the ears in a classroom of uh, eight-year-old kids. Facts. And when a parent showed their concern, what does this teacher do? Completely disregards and goes behind the parents' back trying to find ways of how to continue these lesson plans. The level of disrespect that has been shown to Christian conservative parents is becoming very obvious. It's like all of a sudden, just because we don't fit the agenda, we don't fit in within the parameters of the agenda that's being pushed, we're being disregarded and pushed to the side. 
We're not talking about having people excluded. We're talking about the level of uncomfortability that some parents are experiencing. And that's important. Yeah, it is. Because if you guys want to talk about including all, listening to all, every student matters, our kids matter too. <laughs> and we don't want yeah. those subjects being taught to children who are just eight years old. And the topics get worse and worse and the subjects get uh, more detailed. And I'm sorry, are we doing Bible studies in classrooms? No, we're not, right? So why is this a certain agenda being pushed into the classrooms? But if we don't take a stand and we don't share our voice, they're just going to sweep this under the rug. Why should a parent overhear her eight-year-old kid being taught about sex? Mrs. Tiber says, good morning, Sally and Craig. All right, hang on, y'all. Let, let's unpack that. I'm sorry if my microphone was down a little bit. It keeps going through these mood swings. Yeah, it must be woman. <laughs> you guys might like that one. Anyways, so we're on to another, another mother. And before this mother speaks, because I have ADD really bad. And so I'm thinking I might forget something if I don't say it now. That's just how I, I do things anyways. I just wanted to let her speak because what she said was extremely important. Now, one, one parent took their kid out of that school district. Every single last one of those parents should have ripped their children out of there. When this was brought to this educator's attention, well, she says, well, how could I, you know, go around this and continue to teach this to these children? The lessons kept getting more graphic as they went on. And the mother before this lady here had brought up a very good point. How's come we're teaching this but how are our kids doing in schools? Are they getting straight A's in English, science, math, geography? You know, the important things that children should learn. What about reading? How are they doing in writing? You know, the three R's have seemingly left the building once these, these ESU, DEI companies infiltrated our school systems and the teachers' unions. Activists came in and the morals and values were pushed out. She also brought up a really good point. Are we teaching Bible studies in schools? Oh, yeah. Heck no, because they would burn the schools down if we had brought in this. I think, hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Start pushing it. Bible studies. Yep. I think that's exactly what, because I'll tell you what. If uh, the, the if you say anything about LGBTQ curriculum as a parent and you are a Christian conservative, then you are called a homophobe. You are called a transphobe. You're called a racist. You're called anything and every kind of leftist trigger word that they have. I wonder how they would feel. Well, let's say if their child was at school and the teachers were baptizing them. Oh, I guarantee you there would be riots in this. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, mostly peaceful protest would be going on in the streets. Get out of here. See, they're so hypocritical and they can't handle it if it's them. If, as long as they agree to it, they're good with it. But the very second, man... I love this mother. She's a super mom. That's why I used her in my thumbnail today. Super mom versus the super woke. All right, guys, let's uh, let's go on to the next mom. Whew, I'm heated. Mrs. Tiber says, good morning, Sally and Craig. As you know, I teach third grade. Today, I talked to my class about LGBTQ Pride Month and played two short videos from YouTube that were geared toward kids. A parent who heard the lesson and discussion made her daughter leave the Zoom and texted me asking when I was done discussing sexual orientation so that she can let her kids back onto Zoom. I was planning on doing more lessons tomorrow and Wednesday, but now I'm afraid to. After sending the email, Mrs. Tiber received a response from Mr. Craig Lewis, part of district staff, that said, do not be concerned or afraid. Your principal should support you, as I know that our district, include, including Vivian, does, end quote. This district staffer goes even further and gives more media recommendations to the teacher, but says to steer clear of content that says sexual or coming out, since it may raise red flags. In other words, coaching this teacher on proven methods to push her agenda, but to stay under the radar. Immediately after the release of this email chain, the parents at Jefferson Elementary who have, have or have had Ms. Tiber as their child's teacher reached out to the principal and demanded answers. 
Why is gender and sexuality issues being taught to eight-year-olds to begin with? With the tremendous loss of learning our children experienced the past two years, coupled with the already dismal reading and math performance scores of public schools, why are teachers taking away precious learning time to push their own political and social agendas? In what realm should eight-year-olds be discussing topics around transgenderism, lesbian, gay, queer, and coming out? All words which are repeated many times in these videos. As a parent, I demand an investigation into this matter, this teacher, and the district as a whole. The lid has been flipped, and the level of systemic indoctrination is abhorrent. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely, positively, 1,000%, Mom. What a good point that she made. Now, imagine your school's getting locked down. All of your kids are doing remote learning, which I think was a good thing because then the teacher or the, ch the parents got a glimpse into what their teachers were teaching their children. You know, I think that I, one of you in my comments on my short had mentioned a really good idea. I think parents should be able to just show up at a school and sit in on a classroom one day unannounced. You know, like how stores or your work sometimes hire secret shoppers to, to see how you're performing at work and you don't know who they are. You know, that one bad customer you might be a jerk to just may very well be the person that ends your career, right? I think that would be a great idea. So imagine this, you get locked down, you're remote learning, all of a sudden these kids are, 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 everything's flipped upside down. And then when they go back to school, the indoctrination begins. And I, I think that's exactly what this is. This is a woke indoctrination of children. And it, it, it goes to show how evil it really is when you are targeting kindergartners third graders. It doesn't matter. I don't want to hear, like, like the first mother said, I don't give a crap what sexuality. None should be taught to children. And here me, I'm over here going, this, this teacher should be charged with, with all kinds of different charges that land her on the registry. And I don't mean pottery barn neither folks. All right. Here is the newspaper article that I found well, newspaper. It's by the lion. It's a Herzog foundation website and I'll link everything down in the description. So you guys can read it for yourselves. If you don't like my style of reading, I mean, I don't blame you. I got, I told you I'm ADD, but I didn't tell you. Well, some of you might not know that I am actually dyslexic as well. All right, here we are. Done playing nice with parents. School district sought to help third graders be taught LGBTQ topics under the radar. Womp, womp, womp. This is not good. A public records request by a parent in California school district uncovered emails revealing a conspiracy between a third grade teacher and administrators to teach eight-year-olds about gender and sexual identity under the radar. A video from the Glendale Unified School District board meeting that followed shows one mother inviscerating, <laughs> that's a beautiful word, inviscerating the, the board members over allowing the teacher to continue indoctrinating their children. Parents at the school board meeting identified the teacher as Tammy Tibber. In an email sent by Tibber to the teaching and learning department as a parent pulled a child off an LGBTQ-focused lesson, Tiber said. Today, I talked to my class about the LGBTQ Pride Month and played two short videos from a YouTube that were geared towards kids. First and foremost, I don't even let my kid on YouTube. What the hell are you letting other people's kids on YouTube for? And 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 this was a, a video geared towards kids. But, you know, so is uh, Eugenia Cooney. So is Jeffrey Marsh and Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, these people, they cross the boundaries when it comes to deeming what is kid friendly and what isn't. All right. So a parent who heard the lesson and this uh and discussion made her daughter leave the zoom meeting and texted me asking me when i was done discussing sexual orientation so that she could let her kids back into the zoom i was planning on doing more lessons tomorrow uh, and wednesday but now I'm, I'm afraid to tipper listed youtube links to the two videos in the classroom as well as a video discussing attraction to nudity in film According to the leaked emails, the administration's response to, was to offer Tibber better strategies to become teaching to continue teaching LGBTQ topics under the radar. 
disgusting, dude. According to the mother uh, in the April 19th school board video, Tipper was teaching LGBTQ curriculum three days a week in her classroom. In her address to the school board, the mother added, these are eight-year-old children and she's trying to hold a sexual orientation class with. You guys want us to believe that, 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 that this isn't propaganda, that there's no agenda being held. This wasn't just any sexuality in class. It was specifically designed. Yeah, it's crazy because you wouldn't be teaching heterosexuality like you wouldn't be showing Hustler or Penthouse to a bunch of eight year olds or strip clubs. Why don't you? Why would you? Ah, oh, man. The mother then blasted the school board for its lack of action, saying it demonstrated an immersed level of disrespect. Other parents described the contents of the emails as appalling. Damn. According to the gender identity K through 12 team Substack, a group of parents met with the school's administrator regarding the topic of exposing children to topics of gender identity and sexual orientation during elementary school, which parents were concerned was too early for their children. Oh my God, man. What kind of evil people have a gender identity K through 12 team? Well, Substack apparently. So maybe you guys should end, uh, should be doing some research into Substack to see if that's in your school district. You see, I want to do these videos, you guys, to educate parents too. You know, we as parents have a job to do. When we have this stuff going on in schools and the left saying it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Well, yes, it does. And I have to bring up the Ron DeSantis Parents' Rights in Education Bill. The left says, oh, it's a do not say gay bill. Don't say gay bill. Da, 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 da. Nowhere in that bill does it say don't say gay. It is the parental rights in, in education, meaning that we parents have the rights to know if you are teaching our kids this. And we don't want any sexuality. We don't care what it is. If you want to say don't say gay bill, here, just fix it. Don't say gay to our children. Ta-da! It's fixed. But anytime again, when you say, leave our kids alone, let kids be kids, leave our children's innocence alone, don't teach our kids anything about sexuality, boom, automatically. You're a transphobe. You're a homophobe. Um, When it comes to uh, my children, yes, I'm a, I'm a anything sexuality phobe, okay? I don't want my child to learn anything about intercourse or anything else. Sorry, not sorry. I don't care if it's with a man or a man or a woman and a man, a woman and a man and a man and a man and a woman. I don't care. I don't care. So let's finish this article. I just had to add that. You guys, please look for that sub stack. okay? Make sure you are going to your school board meetings. Make sure you are making sure you... I don't care if you got to put listening devices on your kids. As soon as you pick up your kid, what did you learn in school today? Or as soon as you get home from work, what did you learn? What did they teach you in school today, honey? I ask my son as soon as I pick him up, what'd you guys do? You know, and, and I let it be known. Don't be teaching my kid any of this stuff because we ain't like that. And he don't get to know any sexuality. And he knows he's a boy. So <laughs> we ain't going there because he loves himself. For who he is. All right. Let's do this. Finish this out. Oh my God. Substack, guys. Remember that I'll also link this article in the description. Please, 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 please make sure you're investigating this kind of thing, especially when they're telling you it doesn't happen here. That's where you should be looking the most. Okay. So, according to the gender identity K through 12 team, Substack. A group of parents met with the school's administration regarding the topic of exposing children to topics of gender identity and sexual orientation during elementary school, which parents were concerned was too early for their children. The parents were informed their concerns were taken very seriously, but they say one week later, we see in this email that GUSD, that would be the Glendale Unified School District, administrators doubled down on exposing third graders to a very specific gender ideology, even after a parent asked them their child be opted out of the lessons. According to the Daily Caller, other leaked emails from the district proved the agenda to be clearly at work in their schools, as leaked emails from Craig Lewis, an administrative at Glendale Unified School District, called for more aggressive approach <laughs> to teaching CRT and LGBTQ ideologies in the classroom. Lewis also speaks on being the immediate verge of a civil war in the U.S. and that he is done playing nice with parents. Excuse me, can I have, can I read that again? Craig Lewis, 
an administrator at Glendale Unified School District called for a more aggressive approach to teaching CRT and gen, uh, LGBTQ ideologies in the classroom. Lewis also speaks on being on the immediate verge of a civil war in the United States and that he is done playing nice with parents. Craig Lewis, huh? Craig Lewis. Gee, I wonder if Craig Lewis is still employed with the Glendale Unified School District. What do you mean you're done playing nice with us? We're taxpayers. You work for us. Need we remind you of that, Craig Lewis? You guys, please, I, I urge you to be more present in your children's education. Don't let them sit there all day on a tablet. Don't let them sit there all day on a phone, man. Please stop giving your eight-year-olds phones, your three-year-olds phones, man, please. Make them play outside. Buy some good stuff at Hobby Lobby. There's a, even Lowe's sells crafts that you can do with your child. Please be more hands-on because this is what we're up against. I have a picture of that of that teacher, right? I have a picture of her. Uh, here is the, you know, the, I have an LA Times article too that I'll link down below. We'll go over it briefly, but I don't want to get in to read the whole thing because that took a while. But here, check this out. Oh, I got to share this tab. See, I forget to do this. All right. Here's the teacher in question. Tammy Tibber, Tib Tibber, who nearly a year ago showed video celebrating gay pride to her students has been involuntarily transferred from her classroom for safety reasons after receiving threats. Well, gee, Tammy Tibber, did, did you once maybe shift the blame onto your colleagues? Maybe Craig Lewis had something to do with that after he told parents that he was done being nice or done playing nice. When it comes to being allowed to push CRT and LGBTQ curriculum to people's kids without their consent. You ever think about that? See, I don't feel any, I don't feel bad at, for her at all. Ooh, the LA Times, of course, you know, they're liberal as they come. What do you mean? You think I give a shit that she feels threatened? Do you think I care? How about, again, you're the people of the school district that we pay our tax dollars go. So guess what we, so you mean to tell me, we have to pay the public schools, right? We have to do that. We have we have no choice. Our tax dollars go there no matter what we have a say so in the matter of or not. So we have no say in what you teach our children. So you're going to teach little kids to to not only celebrate queerness at 8 years old and teach them what sexuality is, uh but you're also going to make you're going to point out race to them too and how CRT basically what that does is that tells children that they are inferior to the white man, which is not true, or that they're systematically oppressed when they're not. And this this irritates me to my soul. How how dare that? This is just what I just read the caption of this video, and I had to spew off on that epic rant because you are not going to come here and get sympathy from me after what we know about you, Tammy Tibber. <sighs> They lucky that ain't my kid. A Glendale third grade teacher who nearly a year ago showed video celebrating gay pride to her students has been involuntarily transferred from her classroom for safety reasons after receiving threats. Let's blow this up for you guys. The conflict at the, in the Glendale Unified School District in suburban L.A. County school systems, about 25,000 students centered on four short videos. I thought it was two. OK, so you lied. The, the teacher prepared to show her class on uh, the three of the videos explain gay pride while songs with songs and animation. One features a song called Love is Love with the message that parents and families may come in configurations of what what matters most is love between a guardian and a child. Another ki <laughs> queer kids stuff. Queer kids stuff. Number one, the word queer and children do not mix ever. Done. You know, th this is ridiculous. This video that has spurred the most objection uh, is talking to kids about Pride Month. How about not? How about we don't talk to them about anything? You know, I think that um, 
I think it's absolutely just tragic how I don't know if I want to read this. You guys, I'll link it down in the description of the video. You guys, you guys can read it because I just can't. I think that kids should be kids and that's it. And I think we need to be more involved with our children when it comes to schools. If you like the video, make sure you throw a like on there. Leave your comments down below. All of my links will be down in the description of the video. I have been demonetized since uh, and I won't be getting that back. Uh, so if you guys can join the Patreon, make sure you're following me on Rumble. All of my links are down below. Uh, I have my PayPal cash mo uh cash app and venmo and everything in there too if you want to help out and help me keep this channel alive all right thank you guys i appreciate you all and i will see you again soon thanks guys bye now <laughs>